This is Belkin's new product, the Auto Tracking Stand Pro. Yeah, it's a mouthful. So it's basically a MagSafe holder on a motion tracking stand, but the most interesting thing is that it uses your native iPhone's camera. So you can use Instagram Live, YouTube Live, FaceTime. There's no built-in camera app or a third-party app that you have to use. Belkin makes use of Apple's dock kit to auto-track you on a FaceTime or even a video using your camera app, as we said. It's able to rotate 360 degrees as well as a 90-degree tilt, as you can see here. And you can pair it using NFC and tapping your phone on the stand. <laughs> but this didn't quite work with Belkin's phone, but it did with ours. <laughs> but why would you use this at all? Well, here's Belkin's head of communications explaining the use cases. Oh, and doing a live demo in the process so you can actually see how the recording looks on the iPhone 15 Pro. All right, let me walk you to four different use cases. Let's say I'm a university professor and I'm teaching a virtual course. I can step back and like talk on my, write on my whiteboard, come back, talk to the students. Let's say I'm a physical therapy patient. I can't get into the doctor's office. So using telehealth, I can just FaceTime with my doctor and, and my doctor can see me do the exercises I need to do at home. Let's say I'm horizontally as well. Okay. Let's say let's say I'm uh, just regular me and I want to FaceTime with my sister while I'm cooking in the kitchen. How many times how many times have you been like, hey I'm still here, I'm still here? Um, last but not least, let's say I'm a content creator, I'm a travel blogger, I want to take this on the road. I can actually unplug this and it has five hours of battery in here. It's a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. So Belkin built their bread and butter into this device too because their MagSafe stand doesn't only hold your phone, but it's also a Qi 2 wireless charger. And the whole device can be used wirelessly without the USB-C cable and it'll last for about five hours. It's not a very heavy device, but we don't quite see people holding this in their hand and walking around. So there is a one fourth inch thread to fit it onto a tripod if you want. Yeah, and you know at CES, there were a lot of people and they were all walking around and you could see that the tracking was lost, but that was really an exceptional situation because there were so many people in the frame. But if this is mainly going to be used with a single person or a couple, it seems to be able to do a decent job. And Belkin is also trying to play their part for the environment too. They're building the new products using at least 72% post-consumer recycled plastic and zero plastic in their packaging. All right, guys, this is editor Rohan here. One small thing we did forget to mention is probably a big thing is that this is designed for working with an iPhone with iOS 17 or 17.2, whatever supports dock kit. It does not work with Android. That's something to keep in mind. And Belkin just launched it but it's not available yet. And it will retail for $180. So these use cases are pretty niche if you ask us, but do you guys see a use for it? And as usual, thanks to our YouTube members and patrons, all of you guys who support us, you are what keeps this channel going and has actually let us come to CES this year. So you can expect quite a bit of content from here. And a special thanks to our Fakman tier members, Paula, Hunter, and Gamma for being our biggest supporters financially and thank you so much. Please subscribe to DHRME because we noticed that when we don't say that, we don't get enough subs. So here you go. You've been tracking us at CES and we've been DHRME. Do we? School. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I thought this was a desert.